Hello, and welcome to Spiritual Waking Sundays. You guys are new to my channel. My name is Astaria Dream, and welcome. So in today's video, we are going to be talking all about chakras. Okay, so this will be just a quick little introduction to what chakras are, and just kind of a quick breakdown. And then after this, I'm going to go into a deeper explanation of each chakra. So I'll make a, a separate video for each chakra. So before we dive into what chakras are, some of you may be asking, what are chakras, right? So um, chakras are the energy centers, okay? We have them all over our body. We actually have 114 of them. However, most of those are minor chakras, okay? We actually have seven major chakras and these govern our body. They relate to different things of the mental world, of our emotional well-being, the physical state, the spiritual world, right? So they govern all of that. However, they relate to different parts of our body as well as different organs, okay? So we have the seven ma major chakras and they line up on our spine going from, we, so the, we have the crown and going all the way down to the root. Or you could say starting at the root, going all the way up to the crown. So the root chakra is actually at the base of the spine. So yeah, they go down all the way up and they just run up and down the spine, right? So that's where the seven major chakras are, okay? So now let's kind of do a quick breakdown of what each of them is, right? So the root, we'll start with the root. So that is at the tailbone, the very base of the spine, okay? So this, they all are relate to a color as well. So this one relates with the color red, okay? This governs our well-being, our safety, our sense of security. It could be a purpose. It could be your survival to live, right? All of that thing's stable, foundational energies are in the root chakra, okay? And then going up the spine, we have our sacral chakra, which is governed by the color orange. So the sacral chakra can be our creativity, it can be our friendships, our relationships, our sexuality. That is the sacral chakra. And then that is um, two inches below the belly button, okay? And then if you go up two inches above the belly button, we have the solar plexus, which is governed by the color yellow, okay? So this is motivation, determination, our willpower, our desires, what we think of ourselves, our self-worth, okay? Also when people say that gut feeling, it comes from the solar plexus. That's where that lands, right? That gut feeling, you just know it, right? That's also there, okay? And then going up, we next have the heart, which is uh, the color green. And it's interesting because the heart is right in the middle. And it there's three below it and three above. So it's right and it controls the lower three and the upper three. It's right in the middle. So the heart is the easiest one, right? Think what, what does the heart stand for? Emotions, love, right? What do we think of ourself, our self-love, the love we have for others, the love we have for the world, right? So the heart chakra is all about love. Okay, and then continuing to go up the chakra system, we have the throat chakra, okay? So this is actually a very light pale blue. Think the color of the sky. That's the color of the throat chakra. So this not only governs, I mean, what you speak, but also how you listen, okay? So music, sounds, um, you could be a little bit talk too much or under talking. There's different levels of maybe you need to listen more or you, you, you listen too much, you don't speak your truth. Everything that's around, even writing, stuff like that, the creative writing could even go to that. But think speaking and listening and that's all the throat chakra. And going up, we have my favorite, not that any's better or worse, but <laughs> the third eye chakra, right? Okay, so this is our connection to the other side, our connection to spirit, our connection to the other realms, right? So when people say, trust your intuition, they're talking about this third eye chakra, which is just located right above the brow right there, okay? So, so this is a deep indigo, okay? Um, almost like a mix of a blue and a purple, okay? So that's like right there, that deep indigo, the third eye, okay? And then all the way up at the top, the last one is the crown. So it's literally just at your crown right here. Now, some people actually say that this is violet and other people say that it's white, right? And some people even say the third eye is purple. I, I personally, it, you can, you can use purple stones and stuff to relate with the third eye, but I just say indigo for the third eye. And I personally do white, however, a very light, like lilac violet color can work as well for the crown. Okay, so this is your connection to source, right? You've gone all the way up the chakra system from the root all the way to the crown, right? And then this is your connection to the oneness, unity, all that there is, all that there's not, so above, so below. That connects you all the way up to the infinite abundance, infinite love, right? So that's the little breakdown of the seven chakras. And then, yeah, you guys stay tuned because I'm going to make 
seven more videos on chakras and then each one will, will go through the starting at the root and ending at the crown and i'll go into way more details about what they actually are talking about when one one's overactive one's underactive and like things you like that okay so Thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys got anything out of this video do me a favor and that thumbs up button this way i know you got something and it resonated if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button there's a little bell too you want to hit the bell and turn on all notifications because i do daily videos and i don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming message the next message just might be a message that you need to hear today all right my loves till next time be blessed